welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be vlogging today because today is a fun day my hair has not been washed in a week for good reason because one let's state the obvious i don't know if my other video will come up before this where i kind of say that i got my surgery and i have a mini little wrap cast on but i had this for two weeks then i get my stitches out and then it should be good i mean i'm fine like i can move my wrists and stuff but i'm getting my hair done today this is why this is exciting because i'm not just getting a trim or a blowout i am dyeing my hair now i've like glazed my hair before and stuff like that but i've never truly just dyed my hair that's what i'm doing today i've also never bleached my hair so this should be fun i think i'm just gonna get a balayage i don't know i have inspo picks but i am going lighter i'm very excited i literally didn't tell anyone because i'm going with lauren she's also getting her hair dyed but that was like the funny thing about my breast surgery i didn't tell anyone and everyone was like so confused like why i didn't say anything i don't know why i didn't i just i mean i scheduled it early like june for like august so anyway okay i need to get ready and put some makeup on i have to make my bed usually the first thing i do but it's not me i just show you a bunch of books that i got in the mail later you can see my desk it's full i'm gonna walk my dog we'll clean make the bed makeup get ready go get my hair done it's actually like 8 40 right now so my hair's at 10 a.m we're leaving at like 9 15 it's kind of far we also want to get coffee lots going on let's get ready show you i actually will show you after i make my bed because i'm in a rush but i literally had the best night's sleep ever because i cleaned my sheets my pillowcases my duvet cover like it was best night's sleep and i get a lot of questions about my bed so i'm gonna make it and then we'll talk about it so I kind of just like threw my pillows everywhere, but you guys asked a lot of questions on my bed and basically it's from Brooklyn and you know high quality sheets are like really expensive and these are the best sheets duvet cover like set ever. I have the Lux Hardcore bed set. Brooklyn and gives you the quality and comfort and an affordable price by cutting out the middleman and they were basically founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup, which is incredible. They are offering my viewers, you guys, a discount, which is $20 off any order over 100 You guys can use my code Sarah. All that I'm Information and the link will be in the description so you guys can use that code get a very comfortable bed set or just like anything from Brooklyn in literally amazing highly 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 recommend so let me show you my bed I'm not kidding when I tell you it's the most comfortable thing ever I have the best night's sleep on this bed and this pillowcases are just like amazing so again I got the Lux hardcore bundle but that bundle and the classic bundle they do range from like 200 to 250 which feels expensive but when you get like a luxury set or like a luxury bedding that typically costs around $500 so you're just like paying half the price or even less than half the price with Brooklyn and sheets and it's just perfect This is my favorite part of my room So I feel like making your home and your room like feel beautiful and comfortable is like the ultimate form of self-care Okay, so like I said with this bundle that I got instead of buying everything separately You save 25% by getting this bundle you get two pillowcases sheet set and then also the duvet cover So you get your whole bed made in the bundle and these look sateen sheets are literally the best upgrade you can give yourself I'll show you the sheets. But they have a 480 thread count and just a a luxurious finish just look at my sheets they are perfect and they're smooth they are clean i just clean them and it's just like the best night's sleep you'll ever get and obviously you can also shop online which is amazing because you can do so many things with your sheet set that you're getting so whether you get the classic or the luxe hardcore bundle you can mix and match over 20 plus colors and patterns for the classic or luxe core sheet set extra pillowcases duvet cover so when i went through obviously i got all white everything but there are so many different colors and pattern options that you could choose from so whatever your room looks like you can obviously match it to your room and your vibe and what you want so yeah you guys can use my code everything's in the description it's my favorite part of my room you guys know that i take so many pictures of my bed anyway okay i think i'm gonna put on a black tube top let me try that i feel like black just like feels better i want to take instagram pictures today too with my new hair so that should be fun i think i'm gonna wear white also my hair is so greasy i put little clips in i don't know if you could tell oh it's a mess i think white's cute with my just white birkenstocks the tube top is from zara and these are from zara too they're from last year i don't know if they like still sell stuff from last year but they're like so comfy they're a little big but i just want to be comfortable because i'm gonna be there for like a hot minute because lauren's also dying her hair so it's gonna be like a whole day but i think this is cute should i take my top all right i'm gonna figure that out and then we'll be on our way
guys. This is it in like the normal light. I feel like a new woman. I do. I don't feel like myself. I came up to like a couple packages. Look what I got. First part of my outfit okay so i'm going to september 14th i believe harry's show so i got an outfit for that but i also want to go to the first and the last show so i planned two more outfits that are coming but part of one outfit came so you guys know for his shows i like to wear things that he wore i don't know why but anyway okay i don't know which show it was but i'll put a picture up i got blue trousers and this heart like baby tee i'm very excited for this and then the trousers this is from etsy shop another show from etsy is coming that i'm literally obsessed with you guys are gonna die when you see if i do go to another show but i got just blue like blue trousers from cider shop cider and then bailey pace i'm gonna say your last name wrong Paysor. Pace hour sent me two books and I when people send me books I literally start like tearing up it's so nice of you guys so thank you Bailey she sent me the one by John Mars now a TV series so that's interesting excited and then this one is meet cute by Helena hunting I'm very excited about these and thank you Bailey again so these are now part of my new books that I have gotten bought received let me know if you've read them I'm gonna add them to my TBR now but I also I actually just read this I finished it two nights ago I see my reactions to it because it was rough I had no idea what it was even about but I just read this I got it on Amazon there's a duet or it's a duet so there's a second one but i don't think i'm gonna read it i don't know maybe in the future not anytime soon just what it's about after reading this i just don't i don't know if it really intrigues me then i ordered things we leave unfinished by rebecca yarrow i think i saw a tiktok of this the thing is with this one it was on amazon for like 30 dollars for a few days and then finally it was like 17 dollars, but it took so long to get here so i don't know what's up with this book but someone put a tiktok up on all her annotations and stuff so i obviously ordered it so that's like on my tbr now but i'll tell you what i want to do with it after hold on then my bestie Kennedy sent me this book which is another sad book I'm pretty sure called pack up the moon I've seen it like everywhere I just full tilt really did me dirty and I don't know if I need a sad book but these two are apparently sad books I don't know exactly but then I have this which is apparently another sad book put this in my TBR video for August if you had been with me so here's three potentially sad books that will make me cry I don't know why I said it like that but I'm thinking should I do a reading vlog of reading sad books for like a week or something or just like reading these sad books in a vlog for no reason but to just cause myself pain because why not i feel like that'd be fun i mean if you guys want to see that if not i'm just gonna read them on my own time and put them in a wrap-up obviously but i feel like that could be fun i don't know if you guys want to watch me in pain and crying finishing up not finishing up i started as good as dead and i literally got to page 108 and i saw i like dog-eared the page where i stopped last time right here and it was literally page 100 and i literally stopped and i was like i don't want to continue but i'm gonna take you guys's advice and good thoughts and opinions on this book and continue reading it i just just don't know so i think i'm gonna spend the rest of the day trying to finish this book we'll see if that works that's really all i have for right now i can't really get over my hair i took a few tiktoks or i need like tiktok transition so i'm gonna do the second half of them now go check out my tiktok talk if you want to see but i will come back in a little i'm gonna go like relax i've been literally in the hair salon all day and probably just like stare at my hair to get used to it because i seriously just do i look the same i think it's like not that big of a difference but like to me it is this is the back of it if you cared okay i'm gonna go make my tiktok transitions and then i don't know be back we'll see what happens next i'm gonna go read for a little while i was first to say that at the hair salon while lauren was getting her hair done i started reading mary jane i don't know who it's by i forgot but she brought her kindle and it was kindle unlimited i only got like 40 ish pages in but i downloaded it on my kindle on my phone i was very intrigued by it but Haley fam also read it and i know she really enjoyed it lauren really enjoyed it and just told me to read it so i started it it's actually a lot more interesting than i expected it to be i don't know why literary fiction is just hard for me that's like that what that book really is literary fiction i think it's set in the 70s about a young girl who like so far what i've gotten she just babysits or she nannies for this family that's all i have right now but it was really good and really interesting i liked the writing so i think after i finish this book i'm gonna continue reading that that was just an update because i forgot that i started it but this is putting me in a slump so i'm gonna go sit and not stop reading until i finish today i think it's 400 ish pages i actually don't know how many pages are in this 455 pages and i'm on 100 so i have 355 pages i will update you guys later if this vlog ends here for today because i have literally nothing else to do i'm gonna bring you guys into tomorrow which i think could be fun so maybe it'll be like a half a weekend vlog today's friday and we can do saturday could be fun i'll see you guys in a little So 
So I just got home. I don't know if I was gonna vlog today because you know what? I just didn't know if I should. I didn't know what I was doing. But I got coffee this morning. I am almost done. I'm on page 315. I have a little over 100 pages. I'm gonna try to bang this out in a little. But I just bought a cake, just plain white cake, and I bought frosting because I don't know when this video is coming out. But I'm really close to 100k subscribers, which is just guys. Like I think about it, and like it doesn't really process that that's like how many people subscribe to my channel. Like it doesn't appear. 100,000 doesn't, like I don't really doesn't feel like 100,000 in my head. I feel like I need to do some kind of giveaway or just like something and I'm still thinking about it because I don't want to just like send people from their Amazon wish list, but I'm probably gonna end up doing that anyway because I feel like that's just the easiest and I feel like most of my subscribers or most of you guys are book lovers like me. So I feel like I'll probably do that. So I bought a cake. I want to take pictures for like Instagram when I hit 100k just to thank you guys and just like put something out there that I'm acknowledging I got 100k because usually when I hit a good number like 90k or whatever it was, I'll say like thank you on like Instagram and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like there has to be sure there's more. I could do you know more I could give you guys so if you have any ideas of like future giveaways other than this one because I don't know when this is coming out if I've already done the giveaway or not so I thought I should show you guys me decorating the cake because why not I have a feeling this is gonna come out after I hit it and if it doesn't then we could celebrate together but you guys will see the cake I want to just write 100k on it and then maybe like some flowers maybe like a book or something cute I've never decorated a cake before actually so I got the easiest things that had like tips on it so you can like it's like writing but I'm gonna practice on like a napkin like something first so I don't ruin everything let's see on my toilet paper. I don't know why I decided toilet paper, but it was the closest thing to me. I think I want the 100k to be in pink. This pink and this orange are like glitter colors, so that's cute. Cut end of tube at tip. Squeeze from bottom of tube so I don't... Oh, okay. Ooh, let's try this. You guys want to watch? This is going to be probably a fail. Let's try 100k. It can't be that hard, right? One, zero, zero. I think that looks pretty good. And then I was thinking to do flowers around it, but I don't know how to draw flowers, so... Now, does that look like a flower? I think it's kind of cute. Uh, maybe I'll make the middle white. I did buy a white. Let's try that. I think that's a lot of fun right now. I've never really been an artist before. Oh, this tripod literally takes mega strength to put my phone in or the camera in. It's kind of fun. If anyone needs cake decorating, let me know. I'll decorate your cake for you if you're like a birthday cake. I want to make a book. This is where it gets a little, a little crazy. If you see what I'm doing? You can't. So what's the point? I can't see. I don't think this could go any lower. I just finished. Here's my aftermath of trying to get some pictures for it, but this is how it turned out. It's pink, the writing, and then I made little books. I know it doesn't look that great, but you know what? I tried, and then I put my favorite books all around it. I don't know. All the books that have got me into reading started my book channel and make me happy. I hope by the time this is out that this could be included in the video. I'm not sure where I was just trying to go with that. I was trying to say that I hope those pictures are out so that I can include this part in the video. So if you're watching this part, then thank you literally from the bottom of my heart every single person that watches my videos it again it just like doesn't make sense that this many people follow me and are interested in what i do my opinions talking about books but it just makes me so happy that there's so many of us and we get to all talk and it's like the best community ever and i just seriously thank you guys from every part of my existence you guys are the best ever and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here only because i have nothing else to do today except finish my other video that actually has to go up i have to edit that lots to do and also don't forget you guys can use my code sarah at brooklyn in if you're interested in customizing any bed sheets or getting a bundle like i did that'll all be in the description you'll get 20 dollars off your order over 100 thank you guys so much <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today's vlog or these few days vlog i hope you don't hate my hair it's grown on me and i actually am very much enjoying it right now thank you for watching and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye